We are going POV today, boys. Going for a drive in the WRX. It's been a while since I've gone for a car vlog with you guys. And since it's been a while, I figured I'd take you guys out for a drive in the WRX. Got a couple more miles on it. Got a little closer towards the end of this braking period. We're at, a, we're at 930 miles. Braking period is 1,000 miles. Um, so uh, they said that, and not only the dealership, but I read online that don't go over 4,000 RPMs for 1,000 miles on the WRX. So 70 more miles to go. And to be honest, even though I haven't been able to go over 4,000 RPMs, I mean, this still this car has still been so fun to drive. So just gonna let it warm up for a little bit and just wanna talk to you guys, give you guys a quick update. Um, so what's to come? Uh, obviously, I don't think I'm gonna drive 70 miles today, but I am gonna do, a, once I am getting close to 1,000 miles, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna set up the camera on the windshield and I'm gonna do, a, uh, you know, I'm going to bring you guys along to do the my first ever pull on the WRX, get my reaction to it and everything like that. And then once I do complete the break-in period on the WRX, then we are going to do a full in-depth review of the car, how it drives, walk around, all that good stuff. And at first, this car wasn't actually that smooth to drive. I mean, it was, but the shift... The biggest difference that I've felt as I've been driving the car more is in the shifter. Um, so I got this car with only 14 miles off the lot. We're at 930 right now and the shifter has become so smooth. So at first it was like really notchy, but now it's gotten really smooth. It feels really nice. I've gotten used to the clutch now. So the tricky part was is that in the SI that I have and in the, in the ST for you guys that don't know that aren't subscribed which I do consider you guys subscribing. Um, this guy's gonna do a U-turn, I think. I should've gone. Anyways, so in the SI that I have and in the ST, which if you guys don't know, because you are not subscribed, then I should consider subscribing. The, the catch point on the clutch is really close to the ground versus in the WRX, it's almost, it's really high up. It's like almost when you have the clutch entirely out that's what, where the catch point is for this car so it took me a little bit for to get used to it but now that i'm used to it now that the shifter is a lot more smooth it's not as notchy um you know this car is getting more and more fun to drive uh, you know as as time goes i'm really excited to give you guys a review on this car because i absolutely love this car it's so fun to drive honestly i'm so happy with my decision of uh trading in my 2017 focus st for this it's it's good on gas mileage. The car is so fun, it's quick. I haven't even been able to go over 4,000 RPMs like I said. And you know, I'm still having a blast when I drive this car. It's quick, it has a lot of low end power. So it's fun to drive around town and stuff like that. Obviously I'm not gonna be tracking the car or anything like that, but you know, it's it's a real joy to drive on, on back roads and stuff like that. It's been a while since I brought you guys along for a drive. Actually, it's going this back road. Yeah, but anyways, I have so many plans for this car. I'm so glad, I actually considered leasing this car too, which I'm so glad I didn't because I wouldn't have been able to modify this car in any way possible. Or I mean, obviously you can, and then you gotta put it back to stock. I mean, but I don't wanna do that. So I ended up financing this car and I'm so glad I did because I have such, I have like this itch to just buy, buy, buy parts for this car, so. I mean, right now it's still stock. The only thing I've invested money into this is um, headlights and tint, uh, which I haven't done a video on the headlights yet, but I will soon. But I mean, I wanna get coilovers for the car. I wanna get wheels for the car. I wanna get exhaust, intake, access port, all that stuff. And you know, I just hope you guys uh, like this video and I hope you guys uh, subscribe. That way you guys can see this car progress as it goes. I have a lot of plans for this car. I'm really excited. Um, it's gonna take some time, but you know, I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you guys are along for the ride with me as I build this car uh, throughout the next couple of months. And um, you know, I'm excited to share you guys everything that I'm gonna do to this car. 
and uh, show you guys everything that you know show you everything along the way I already have wheels picked out and I've actually been thinking about parting out the SI or at least just selling the three-piece wheels I have on the SI because just selling those wheels will be enough for me to get coilovers and wheels for this car because those wheels are so expensive um, but yeah just going for a quick drive here giving you guys a quick update letting you guys know how much I freaking love this car it is so awesome it's so fun to drive I absolutely love the way it looks 68 more miles until we can do a full throttle pull and you guys are gonna be along with me gonna experience that first ever pull in this car and I've never really owned that fast of a car. I mean, obviously a WRX isn't the fastest or quickest car out there, but this is definitely the quickest car I've ever owned. I mean, I'm only 21, so I've only owned, I've only ever had three cars. Uh, so the SI, I mean, uh, it's an SI, it's not that quick. The ST was pretty quick, and I feel the ST and the WRX are very comparable. Like, not, um, not taking account for all-wheel drive in the Subaru and launching it as far as accelerating from a rolling start I think the ST and the WRX will be very similar as far as acceleration but I'm not sure we'll see I haven't ever I haven't ever full throttled the WRX before um, so we'll see how that goes but you know I definitely think this car will be a little quicker than the ST but we'll see I like going on this back right now it's six o'clock so rush hour is just starting to end but this back road is really nice it's been raining all week long which sucks because i just want to enjoy this car and i haven't really been able to just go out and drive on back roads uh which is my favorite thing to do with this car we've been having a really strong like thunderstorms and after it thunderstorms there's like branches and stuff on the road and it's just like i'm like oh, i don't feel like driving and you know dodging all that stuff on the road oh that guy just ate the biggest pothole ever but yeah so i'm hoping to hoping to finish this break-in period the next two days maybe even by tomorrow and then this weekend expect a video Expect a video of my reaction to my first full open throttle in the WRX. I'm, all, I'm going to like 3,500 RPMs there and this car is still so fun. Look at all that traffic. I really hope I don't have to sit in traffic on my way back. You can hear the turbo pretty good in this car too. It's pretty loud. So I can't imagine what an intake will do as far as spool noise for this car. One thing that I'm noticing is that when I'm like getting on it, when I'm accelerating it pretty aggressively, at like 3,500 RPMs, it kind of like, starts to fall on its face so i really want to get done with this braking period to see how it's going to accelerate after 3500 rpms because from 25 to 35 it's it's pulling it's pulling but then right after that it kind of just falls on its face and it kind of slows down um so i mean the boost is the same but it feels like it just falls on its face and it slows down so i really want to see how this car's power is going to go throughout the whole rest of the RPMs until redline. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how that ends up also. But anyways, that was just a quick car vlog for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so expect a lot of new videos up with the WRX coming out in the next couple of days. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button for me. Got a lot of plans for this. And uh, you know, I hope you guys subscribe and come along for the ride. Um, as far as me building this WRX and making it exactly the way I want it to be. So, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.